So in my classroom, I use a student responsibility form. So basically, this is a sheet of paper that lists out the expectations of behavior in the classroom. What they're supposed to bring for the day, if they arrive on time, if they're respectful with their words, if they participate. It's a physical checklist that each student gets every day, and we work through that during the day so they can see how they're earning that grade. Hey, thanks for being on time today. I'm always on time. I know, you're awesome. And you're completing your warm-up, so look, 30 points already. It really gives them the tangible aspect of having that right in front of them. Sometimes kids, if they don't see it, it doesn't really exist to them. So it's really helpful for classroom management because I can say, hey, thanks for showing up on time. That's great. I get to give you 10 points. And they really celebrate that. And then if they do something wrong, they can say, hey, I'd love to give you these points. But look, you didn't, you didn't meet this expectation. We'll try again tomorrow and you really see the students engage with it, they, when I don't check the checklist, they're like, miss, miss, please, please, you forgot to give me my points. But they see that grade, and they see how it affects their grade over time, and you'll see it in the classroom. All of a sudden, the classroom's quieter during, during warm-ups. All of a sudden, they're helping each other and saying, hey, hey, no, you forgot, we have to do this and stay on task. So they start keeping each other accountable because they see it on the desk. Did you look up meaning? Did you look up meaning of? Did look up Roberto, Roberto meaning. Mm -hmm. Meaning of Roberto. Famed, bright, and shiny. I also find that using this kind of responsibility form really helps to build uh, a relationship between me and the students. That's so key in the classroom. You want to have a good classroom culture and you want to have a good relationship with your students. This way it's not me against them, it's we're working together to make sure they're successful. And that can make such a difference with students, especially students who are really struggling and disconnected, because it's a way of you connecting without like physically connecting, but we're connecting on that paper. And so that relationship's being built even without vocally communicating. Mm -hmm.